I think, first of all, it, there is, of course, a moral and ethical question about using violence, but killing people in the name of a cause, whatever that cause is. But even if we put the ethical and moral questions aside, if we say we're not interested for a moment in you know, the ethical moral implications of using violence, if we're just purely looking at whether violence works or not, we will find that more often than not, violence actually makes the situation worse than better and that nonviolent methods on the whole are far more effective than violent methods. And that's for a number of reasons. People who use violence believe that violence actually has a mobilizing effect, that if people see acts of terrorism, for example, being carried out, that they believe that the revolution is coming, the movement is strong, that now is the moment to join the revolution. In reality, of course, violence does not mobilize people in fact, it divides movements. It actually creates the disintegration of movements. And quite often, it actually puts people off joining movements. It triggers the division of the opposition between moderates and extremists. So rather than assuming that violence mobilizes people and makes more people join the movement, more often than not, it actually has the opposite effect. Uh, another assumption by people who are using violence is that governments are paper tigers and that they can easily be brought down if you're only using the right acts of violence, if you're only manipulating the situation through a few acts of symbolic terrorism or whatever uh, kind of violence you're using. The reality is that this kind of assumption is based on almost ideal conditions. Uh, ideal conditions in which you have a foreign occupation, population is behind the insurgents, the commitment of the colonial power of the foreign occupier is weak. And the government can be brought down easily. In most situations, that's actually not the case. Governments will not give in easily to violence. So what you end up is a situation in which violence is not only not bringing the government to give in, it's actually destroying your own movement. That's what happens in most cases. Not in all cases, it's not always completely useless, but in most cases, nonviolent forms of resistance are actually, have actually been proven to be more effective than violent methods of resistance.